Hello everyone. Welcome all. Karibu to my YouTube channel. Uh, as you can see, I am on the official US Department of State Bureau of Consular Affairs official website. And the purpose of this video is to update or to give an update on the news which have been released by the US Department of State concerning the visa services operating system updates. So in order to check that news, you just go to the US visa section. Then what you need to do is direct scroll downwards until you can reach the you uh, the news sections the release news section which is on downward of the page as you can see here the news it is here the us visa news and the news which have been released on november 19 2021 it says visa services operating status updates so let's go and read and check or understand what does this release news mean to the current visas update especially to the most of the u.s embassies and consulates around the world so the visa services operating status update and the passage or the news it stays or it states as follows as worldwide restriction due to the covid-19 pandemic begin to ease and in line with the president proclamation regarding the safe resumptions of international travel as we all know that in the few days the us department of state has announced the resumption of international travel. It means the U.S. opened its borders for the international travels to the U.S. But we say some uh, some requirement that you need to have a full vaccination or you have been tested one day uh, before entering. Uh, you have tested and you have the test uh, positive results before entering to the US. So that is how the US have opened its border for international travel. That's why we say the proclamation regarding the safety resumption of international travel. And the passage continue as follows. The Bureau of Consular Affairs will focus on reducing waiting time for all consular services at our embassy and consulate overseas while also prote uh, protecting health and safety of our staff and applicants as we all remember that during physical year of 2020 where the covid-19 pandemic was at high stake most of the U.S. embassies and consulates were reducing its activities or its services due to such pandemic. And that resulted to the uh, many visa backloads at the U.S. embassy. So, now, as the COVID pandemic begins to ease, the Bureau of Consular Affairs will focus on reducing the wait times for all consular services at embassies and consulates overseas, while also protecting the health and safety of our staffs and applicants. It continues as said, although local conditions and restrictions at individual consulate posts may continue to fluctuate the guidance to post for the prioritization of the consular services during pandemic issued in november 2020 has been recited 
you see that uh, during uh, during the pandemic which was in 2020 most of the u.s embassies issued some prioritization to uh, to uh, issue some guidance on prioritization of some consular services so now those embassies and consulates has been uh, the prioritization have been changing so there are some uh, case loads which call the u.s visa case loads will start being issued or being prioritized but this will depend on the uh, this will depend on the uh, embassies and the consulates which have uh, the discretion of the u.s embassies and consulate to we uh, to, pro, uh, to prioritize which categories of visas and which category of visa to not prioritize so it says embassies and the consulate have a broad discretion to determine how to prioritize visa appointment among the range of visa classes as safely as possible subject to local conditions and restriction so you see now the embassies and the consulate will start eh, to use these visas backloads but embassies and u.s embassies and consulates have uh, have their own discretion to determine on which category of visa to prioritize among the range of visas classes as we all know that there is many classes of visas maybe family-based visa employment visas education visas visiting visa adv visas and so many categories of visa so if you are the winner of the dv 20 22. Just keep your hope alive because now the US and uh, the Bureau of Consular Affairs has issued this news for the purpose of focusing on reducing the wait times to all consular services. So you might think that you are the DV winner and your case is not scheduled for the interview or you are not receiving the prioritization, uh, the requests for emails or you don't hear anything from the embassies uh, from the kcc but you should keep your hope alive because the news has already released concerning the visa services operating status to the u.s embassy and consulate so you never know maybe the embassies or consulate will prioritize the dv visas or we pro, uh, prioritize the family-based visas and uh, things like that but on all the proclamation regarding the safety resumption of international travel have been put into work by the u.s government that it is allowed the international travel to the u.s so the embassies and the the, uh, the u.s embassies and the consulate will start to prioritize or to reduce the backload of a certain visas or the consular services thank you don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel at swahili bongo network so that i can continue sharing the update news from the u.s department of state concerning the different categories of visas but mostly on the v visas or diversity visa category leave a comment uh, leave any questions don't forget to share the video like anything you have write uh, down on the comment i'll be able to respond if i can be able to respond any advice any opinion just put on the comment so that other people can learn and share the information thank you so much